Nationals hosting the Mariners. The Mariners are minus 148 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 126. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Mariners laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 114, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 137, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, when I make my picks, it's based off of the pitchers you see here. So if they happen to swap someone before the game starts, it'll probably change the outcome of my pick. That's why whenever I bet these games, I always select the pitcher. Now, the weather is supposed to be 81 degrees, 5 mile an hour winds, no direction, and 14% chance of rain. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. Head-to-head, -head, the Nationals are on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The underdog has won the last two. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10. The under is 6-4, and four, and the under at 7.5 runs is also 6-4. and four. The Mariners are 2-3 and three in Kirby's last five starts. The over is hitting his last three. The over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Six innings pitched, 4.4 hits, two earned runs, 5.6 strikeouts, 0.4 walks, one home run per game, although his home runs came in two separate games. 87.4 pitches and 14.1 pitches per inning. Kirby is just one of those guys that when I pick with them, he screws me, and when I pick against them, he screws me. It's pretty much the Mariners' uh, one and two starters seem to shaft me pretty well when I when I bet with them. Now, the Nationals, I suppose, haven't confirmed that they're starting Gore tomorrow. They have lost his last two starts, so this is going to be over his last nine starts. He's averaging five innings pitched, 5.3 hits, 1.9 earned runs, 2.4 runs overall. 0.4 home runs, 94.2 pitches, 18.9 pitches per inning, and six strikeouts per game. He's been pretty consistent for the Nationals. The Mariners are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 2-2 two and two in their last 4. 9 runs, 9 runs, 10 runs, 5 runs. 5 runs and a win, 6 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, and then shut out in a loss today against the Yankees. And they have to travel to D.C., not a super far flight or drive, whatever they choose to do. The Nationals are 2-8 in their last 10, 1-3 in their last 4. The under is 5-4-1. 16 runs, 15 runs, 10 runs, 5 runs. 5 runs and a loss, 12 runs and a win, shut out and a loss, and then 2 runs and a loss. This is the damned if you do and damned if you don't because I really don't trust the Mariners and I really don't trust Kirby. So I'm just going to take a shot here and go with the Nationals. I'll take the Nationals with the money line. I'll take the Nationals getting the runs, and I will go under in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.